Move over Hollywood, get set for Bama Wood. That's right, it's been a busy few weeks for movie making here along the Gulf Coast. Here's Nicolas Cage in town shooting his third movie in the Port City. He is getting the key to the city from Mayor Stimson. But coming up on Friday, another movie the shot entirely right here will be opening on Netflix. This is going to be good for us, Jess, really good. Gerald's Game is the story of a married couple trying to reinvigorate their love life by heading to a cabin in remote woods. Much of Gerald's Game was shot right here at the Mobile Civic Center because some of the scenes were kind of steamy. It was a closed set. Yeah, I'd say 85 to 90 percent of it was done in the Civic Center uh, in Expo Hall. Scott Lumpkin produced the movie and decided to shoot it here because it's home, but also to take advantage of incentives the state offers. He's an advocate of the incentives to help grow the film industry in Alabama, but legislative talk earlier this year to kill the film incentives had a cooling effect on movie projects, something Lumpkin and the Mobile Film Office noticed. Yeah. Oh, it did. I lost several projects just from the, the buzz of it possibly going away. Yes, people wouldn't talk to us because everyone, the uh, news spreads across the country. They're going to kill the bill, you know. Both Golson and Lumpkin say keeping the incentives is crucial since movie projects are planned years ahead of time. I've got projects that sometimes take as long as three years. But the planning for Gerald's game paid off. Lumpkin seems happy with the way it turned out, staying true to the Stephen King brand of horror. You know, it's, it's something that we have to protect and make sure that we deliver and not cheapen. You know, there's, there's a certain amount of communication that goes on between us, production, and Stephen to make sure that he approves of every step that we're going through. And King also seems pleased, as evidenced by his Twitter account. In one of the final scenes, several local extras and actors had parts in the movie in downtown Mobile. And I was lucky enough to actually get a part in the movie Gerald's Game here at this location at the federal courthouse, standing about where I am right now. That is, unless it got left on the proverbial cutting room floor. Am I in it? No. <laughs> Don't blink. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll see. By the way, Gerald's Game opens on Friday on Netflix. And by the way, Scott Lumpkin is actually producing another Another movie in Orange Beach. It's called Mary, about a ship with some terrifying secrets for its new owners. Reporting from the studio, Bill Riles, News 5.